Hello, today I'm making a video on the Habitrail Oval system. Whenever I was going to buy it, I looked up a lot of reviews on YouTube. I find it really, really helpful because there's some bad reviews and some good reviews. And there are pros and cons to the Habitrail system. So I'll just go over a few that I find. And this is Teddy B's Habitrail system. So I've got the Habitrail Ovo and the Habitrail Mini Maze and the Habitrail Maze as an add-on. Um, the main things I like about the cage are obviously the way it looks, it's nice colours and um, just the round domes are really nice. Um, the water bottle I love. A lot of people have problems with it but I find no issues with it. Um, initially when I got the cage the water bottle was the main issue. Um, if you fill it right to the top and then hold it by the hold tabs and shake it down three times it, it'll air lock itself and then you can pop it in. Um, what I found at the start was the metal end on it. I was pushing on way too tight. You don't need to do that. You just push it on so that it locks in place and then pop it in. And you'll because trying to get that metal end off if you push it on too tight is a disaster. So best not to do that there. My hamster sleeps, um, this particular hamster, Teddy Bee, sleeps in the OVO. It's the carry um, part of the OVO system. I didn't put the handle on because I'll not be using it for that purpose. So that's quite a big bed for him and he loves sleeping in there. Then, so part of the Habitrail OVO you get this carry system, this water bottle, then <clears throat> this um, have a trail oval which has the wheel built in and a food bowl which I don't use because it's at the very back and it would be too awkward to use that. Um, all of these tubes and then this mini den, the green one, um, and that's what you get with the have a trail oval system. The mini den, they used to sleep in there, they don't really use it anymore so um, up there is the have a trail mini maze. My hamsters had the cardboard eaten in about two days, so I'll have to find more in search for that. But it's pretty cool because you can hide treats and things in there. And then this is the big maze. Um, as you can see, my hamsters had a good chew at that as well. Um, but it's really good fun for them and you can hide things in the bottom of it. I've just put little treats and things in there. Um, oops. So it's pretty cool and they can climb through, although I don't know if I'll replace that when that's all worn because um, it really sort of cuts down in their room as well. And then I've just got a set of tubes here. The tubes are good if you use them correctly. They lock together with these little um, <coughs> locking mechanisms. You just sort of turn them round and that locks the tubes. A lot of people are saying their hamsters are escaping from these, but if you lock them tightly, I really don't see how they could be escaping. I mean, I have two Syrians in these and if any hamster's going to get out, it's going to be them and I've had no issues with them at all. I've had this system for about maybe a month and a half, two months and I absolutely love it. I've also got up above here, this is Ellie's system. She's all in the pink. Um, she's wrecked her knees. It's sort of a bit wonky there. She doesn't tend to use the dens for sleeping, she'll just find a wee spot wherever she wants um, and at the minute she's sleeping in the mini maze. Okay, so main pros with these are the look, um, easy to clean, once you take these apart easy to clean, just be very careful because the, I've seen a lot of reviews and the lids have cracked but if you're very careful with them and to be honest you don't really need to clean the lids too often because they're not really being dirtied so the bottom parts because all pulls apart it's very easy to clean the, the tubes just fall in two bits when you take off the holding rings which is pretty easy to clean and um, and the wee homes the wee dens um, again they just pull apart everything once you've cleaned it just looks like brand new that's what I love about this system whereas the wire cage that I did have um, would have you know two marks on the bars um, they would have bitten on the bars all the time and it was very noisy 
um, so I didn't really like that. Plus they kicked the sawdust everywhere. My floor was absolutely covered in sawdust. So it wasn't great either. This, it's tidy, it's clean. And as long as you have a well ventilated room like this, they shouldn't get overheated or um, they should have plenty of air going on and circulating around, which mine certainly do. Um, cons, main cons would be probably the size. I'm going to add on another um, oval system, the one with the external wheel and the other water bottle because I am, you know, these are Syrian hamsters. They do need a good bit of space to, to run about in. And although they love running up and down the tubes and running around, they don't really have enough, I don't feel, with these two homes. So I'm going to get another expansion for them. Um, cons, probably main cons would be really space and um, I can't really think of many more cons because I just love these systems so much. So anyway, I hope you find this helpful and leave a wee comment. Thanks, bye.